Alrighty, so, uh, welcome, my name's Dacian, and, uh, welcome to Fantasy Revolution. So, a crazy thing's happening now that I'm actually back to recording, so, one of the first videos I wanted to do was the Nightfall for Destiny. I'm just gonna kinda show you my Blade Dancer real quick, and then we'll jump into it. I kinda found, like, a broken way to beat it, I guess would be the way to say it, and, uh, before everyone goes and comments, you know, hey, this was really cheap. Well, at least we got the win, uh, and I kind of want to just start off with showing off what I've been working on. Um, this is actually my s first character. I have a Titan that I'm working on right now, too. He's in a 22 range. But, uh, yeah, so let's start walking through what I got. My Blade Dancer is pretty much capped out, as you can see, and I really love that the ability for hun Hunger Blade to be up, which, although the trade-off is my Arc Blade doesn't last very long, um, and pretty much armor at this rate, so, you know, go ahead and do whatever for your character. I'm just gonna jump into the game and basically get to the boss fight. Now, this week is the Summoning Pits for the Weekly Heroic, and it's actually pretty simple when you go to do it. But again, you know, I'll jump into game and show you from there. Alrighty, so I jumped straight to the boss fight. Not really a surprise. I didn't want to show all the stuff that led up to it because not only is it kind of a spoiler, but I guess that this isn't really going to be spoilers for anyone. But, I mean, the, my main focus for this video is on the boss fight itself. If you want to see the whole walk through, walk up to the boss, let me know and I'll look into doing that because if that's what people want to see, that's what you want to see. So we're going to be exploiting the fact that A, the mobs don't come through the door and B, the fact that the boss can be sniped. So we're going to be heavily relying on the icebreaker and the unlimited ammo so I don't have to be running up and getting ammunition. So if you're going to try this, make sure that you have a way to either A, get a lot of sniper ammo, so, you know, go ahead and buy a bunch of med packs that pop special ammunition, and, or, get your icebreaker. I personally spent the coins that I first got on the icebreaker, best investment ever. So, all we're gonna do is we're gonna run straight to the door, pop it open, and then get this boss to freaking break out of his chains. What that's gonna do is A, allow you to line up the boss so that you can snipe him through the door and B make sure that the boss fight continues now there is a mob that actually spawns behind you but you know we can take care of that it spawns right above this door but again I did see it this time so hopefully I think I just went quick enough so from here all you have to do is line up a sniping position and hopefully the boss lines up into the position he should come right by that corner and what he's gonna do is he's gonna try and hit you and he won't be able to and all we're gonna do is lay some shots into him where he, we want him right there so I'm gonna back up a little bit and now look right through there we can see him yep and all it is now is just lining up the shot so giving him a little bit of damage he's gonna come out and I, of course, miss a couple shots right there, but that's okay. Now, just continue this straight down. He's not going to be able to hit you, nor is any mobs going to be able to come through that door. Now, since this has to be done with an icebreaker, and as you can see, my ammunition keeps refreshing, I don't really see another way to do this. Um, I am solo, so again, if you have a bunch of people doing this, it's a wicked easy fight anyways. Alrighty guys, so I finally got this guy down slowly. Basically all you gotta do is keep hitting him with your icebreaker and it'll eventually go down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this fight. As soon as you kill him and he disintegrates, all the mobs go away. You can run down and grab all the items that he drops. He didn't really drop anything, but anyways, that's how you complete it. So, as I said, this is one of the first videos I'm putting up of Destiny. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and uh, anything that you want me to change. 
I'm gonna try and put up videos like well, this that this are kind of like little exploits, maybe a little bit of talk Finally, on it, and probably even and work towards doing some people. Clash stuff. Um, I really a enjoy Clash, and I've been doing it a lot lately. So I probably will be looking at using it as a kind of uh, maybe I don't know some event. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, I will see you guys next time. This station, this has been Fantasy Revolution, and hopefully I will see you guys in the game.